Hello Copic Craft fans. We are playing a little bit more with some Tommy Art materials today. Um, I did a small demo a few weeks back and I'm not totally sure what order all of that is going to happen in where I did this ombre effect and I only used the paints. I used three colors, um, two blues and this um, antique white. The Tommy Art line is chalk paints. Um, they are water-based. They do some amazing things. This is not your inexpensive um, crafting paint that you buy at Hobby Lobby or Michaels. This is one step up um, worth looking into. So this is another product that is being carried by Imagination International. So we're going to do a couple things today because I wanted to continue playing. One of the things that is part of this line is a whole bunch of kind of specialty products and mediums and one of them is an antiquing wax and this is used for a bunch of different surface treatments and kind of things but what I'm going to do this has a little bit of texture on it not a lot but I'm going to finish this with this antiquing wax just to see kind of what that looks like and so what I'm going to do is I am going to take a little bit with a kind of just cotton rag. And I don't need very much. I'm just gonna kind of get my finger in there and then kind of smoosh it around. And I've got a blank page and I am going to literally coat this with a single color and then do a neat effect on top of this. But I wanted to show you how smooth this paint goes on. The paints come in 40 colors and they come in a couple different sizes and then there are metallics and there are also the waxes and coatings and specialty paste even to pair these with for special effects. And you can even seal it with a varnish. I'm gonna set this aside to dry. It literally will only take a few minutes. Sections of it like this is already dry. So my two pages have dried and I'm gonna come back and do two different techniques. Um, one on top of the antiquing wax and one on top of this paint. So we're gonna do the antiquing wax first because I'm actually gonna let that dry. So very thin coat of this white. Again, this is the chalk paint. And what's gonna happen because that wax is on there, it's gonna smooth even further and faster, so I need very little paint. And the beauty of that is it's also gonna dry crazy fast. And carefully set that to the side. I have something over here holding that up. And then, this you're gonna love. If I can do it right, we'll see how I do. We're gonna put a nice thick coat again this is antique white, the paint, right on top. And let's see if I do this correctly today. And I was lucky enough to see Tommy himself do this, and he's amazing at it. I'm not yet, but we're going to see how well I do today. We have this wood grain tool. So the process is kind of a rocking motion and I'm not doing a great job with this. Um, it takes a little bit of practice, but it's kind of rocking that from forward to back across the page, but you can see the effect it gets. And if you lay that, that paint fairly thickly and work while it's wet, you get a good effect. 
on my first page I'm going back and now I'm distressing and because I put that wax coating in between it's only going to pull up the white and it leaves a really neat effect. There's just some test runs, some fun things you can do. Um, there's a whole lot of layering going on with these um, fabulous paints and all the mediums that go with them. Um, I will continue to demonstrate more of this stuff as I experiment with it and work with it. And I know one of your questions is going to be right off the bat, um, how compatible are they with Copics? We have not delved into that yet. So hold off and you know that I will get there because that's kind of my, my shtick anyway, is that I want to experiment and overlap everything. So um, Tommy Arts, chalk paints, whole bunch of things really cool effects and things you can do with those um, for backgrounds for card bases um, for obviously art journal type pages and we're going to just continue exploring those they have a real flexible um, base to them so they're not going to chip and crack which makes them work really well for paper crafters because we can do a whole lot of stuff with them because of that. If you are a first time visitor to Copic in the Craft Room, if you have a chance, please like our channel and then also like this video. It would really help us out. And when you are looking for even more inspiration, come over to the Facebook Copic in the Craft Room and we've got more going on there daily. Make sure to ask questions and make comments down below and over on our Facebook page. I am checking in regularly and try to get those answered as quickly as possible and always try to um, get those requests taken care of as well. Thank you for joining me this week and have a happy colorful week.